Hi, welcome to another video. So today is the 6th of June and Microelectronica started shipping their Speak Up clickboard. So what I've done, set up a simple demonstration, fantastic for the price, about 39 US dollars for the board, um, nine pound or nine dollars shipping. Today I had to pay 15 English pounds import tax to DHL, 15 pound or 13 pound to DHL. But this is the board, uses an ARM uh, processor on the back, controller, microcontroller, should I say. It's got the USB interface, that's a small, is that the micro one? I forget what it's called, so you'll have to order yourself one of these. Let me turn the light on. have to order yourself one of these USB leads. The software is free from Microelectronica. You, if you've... Um, been following Microelectronica, you will you will have noticed they've got some demonstrations of this board. So I haven't got any like robots or anything or cars for it to control, but I've set it up on my TFT clock and I'll give you a quick demonstration. Right, I'll give you a quick look at the software before I look at the TFT screen. So what I've done, recorded a few sounds. So I've said like YouTube, blue, red picture, that sort of stuff. And all you do, I'll show you here, so you click on the plus, record a sound. Now I'm standing too far from the microphone on the clickboard, so the speak up clickboard, so let me move nearer the board. Hello? So that's captured that and you can just call it hello because that's what I said, so save and close. And what you do up here in this sort of library of words you've created just go to this hello and tell it out of the 12 port pins you want to turn on. So let's go down to number 12, see I'm not using that. So IO12, you can either turn it on, turn it off, toggle or put a pulse. So if we go for pulse for example, which is what I've done for some of these other routines for my TFT, We'll get you in a bit closer. I've set the IO12 to pulse when it hears the word hello and you can edit the pulse. Hopefully you can see all this, can't get you in any closer. And so you can literally define the period there. So by default pulse is for 100 milliseconds, duty cycle 50% and if you leave that at zero it's going to do it forever. So you could, let's say, two thousand milliseconds so two seconds you can either leave it at fifty percent duty cycle what have I, I've been doing for my pulses for the TFT put it hundred percent so that's really just uh, staying on really even and then you could do it like ten ten times for example so it tells you that's going to take twenty seconds save and close and once your USB leads connected to upload to the device simply upload here and it writes to the device but so I've um, re been recording a few words this morning so like YouTube blue red picture pulse what I'll do I'll go back to the I've got, I'm running the easy pick fusion version 7 the pick 32 mx7 microcontroller and you will have seen I've just got the 5 inch TFT work in 16 bit mode so let you give let, I'll, I'll give you a sample give you a demonstration right so here we are on the screen and the easy pick fusion version 7 board let this uh, refresh and at the moment we'll be controlling port B so some of the pins down here so hopefully you'll be able to see one of these LEDs flash when I tell it to so pulse you can see I've told it to pulse and hopefully you can see the LED flashing down there. So I'll focus on the LED first. Faster. Faster. Slower. Slower. Off. There we are, that's controlling just one simple LED. 
you'll get the hang of it, as I'm sure I will. Right now, back to the this display. So I go YouTube, YouTube. There we go. So you can see I'm. Um, depends how far you are away from the microphone. Go red, red, blue. Picture, 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 picture. Don't you understand English? Bloody board. Picture, picture. Now that picture hasn't come up because I've told you to. That's come up to the end of a minute. So let's see if we can do it again. Red, red. Picture. There we go. Picture. So you get the idea. So depending on how far you are, you are away from the microphone, and how you're actually saying the voice determines you know, how well the thing works. But this is just a quick demonstration. So red. Red. I think I've got the board set differently to how I was using it earlier, sitting on the glass off the worktop, so YouTube. So that's it. Hopefully you can see the board there. Just got the board sitting on the glass up there. Picture. I was probably leaning in too far. I've been sitting down earlier just talking normally and red, blue, blue, blue. I can see it's picking up the pulse because, uh, or picking up the sound because the LED is flashing. Picture, blue. There we go. So, pulse. Hopefully you might have seen the LED start flashing down there. Again. Faster. 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 Slower. Off. There we go. Picture. There we go. So I might set up loads of pictures on this internal memory card and have the screen scrolling through a load of pictures. And but I've had this board so for a couple of hours, just getting a hang of it. Uh, hopefully, give you some insight to some decent voice recognition modules from, available from Microelectronica. As I say, this one's called the. It's a click board. It's called Speak Up, and I say it goes about 39 US dollars, nine US dollars shipping, and depending on what country you're in, I paid 13 British pounds import tax this morning. Get the manual, how to, or the schematic, and you get some pins, uh, how to solder them to the board, that sort of stuff, and I've just simply rigged up a ribbon cable from there to the board. So it runs this is running off my board at the moment. I have the USB plugged in simply to record or show you that data. So that's it, Microelectronica's voice recognition module. Uh, speak up click. There we are, speak up click. So that's it. That's the ARM7 microcontroller on the back. Anyway, hopefully you found this video helpful. Thank you very much.